Welcome back to the PAT Extravaganza mini series. My name is Brandon Ever, and I will be sharing my tips and tricks and strategies to help achieve success on the perceptual ability test, as well as walking you through some practice questions. And in today's episode, we are going to be focusing on the angle ranking portion of the perceptual ability test. So let's get into it and talk about kind of the formatting. So the PAT angle ranking section is the third subsection of the PAT following the keyhole section and the top front side section. You're going to have 15 questions and the overall goal and the overall objective of this section is to rank the angles from smallest to largest in terms of degrees. Now there's a couple key strategies here that's going to make this section a heck of a lot easier for you. And the first one is to use the answers to guide your thinking. And what I mean by this is that instead of looking at the angles first when you come across a question, go right to the answers. Because a lot of the times the answers are going to reveal a lot of information to you, such as some answer sets might only have one or two angles being the smallest angle. That way you have a 50% chance of narrowing down the correct answer. And then the same thing for the largest angles. So you just really use the angles or excuse me, really use the answers to guide your thinking and to guide your thought process. Uh, now the second major strategy you're going to use here is to quickly scan your eyes across the angles. The longer and, and longer you stare at these angles, the more similar they seem, which makes these questions harder and harder. So do not look at these questions for a long time. Quickly scan your eyes between the angles or the the two angles in particular that you are looking at, and it's going to seem a lot easier to distinguish the sizes and the angles and the degrees of these angles. Knowing these two key strategies, let's hop into some practice questions. I got three of them here, and I'll show you how to tackle these questions. So let's start here. This is number 33. By the way, these questions are coming from the free 2007 DAT. You can find this online just by searching free ADA DAT questions uh, and this free practice test will come right up. So let's hop into question 33 here. And what I mean, let's, let's first, I'm going to draw one here. This is where you start is the answers. And what I meant by using the answers to guide your thinking, look at the smallest angle here. It can only be either one or three. And then the largest angle can only be 2 or 4. So depending on what you want to start with, let's just start with the smallest angle. So it's either between angle 1 and angle 3. And when we're looking at these angles and deciding their size, you want to focus on this area just right here. You don't want to focus on anything outside of this region that I circled because look at number two here the sides of these angles aren't equal which can throw you off so I suggest just looking at the very tip of the angles and that's pretty much all you need so when looking between these two angles and I'm flicking my eyes across them very quickly I can see that one is a little bit smaller <clears throat> and I have another little tip here for you. I'm just going to write, this is the smallest angle here, angle one. Okay. And that is, let's zoom in even here. <clears throat> the more black you see in the tip of an angle, so you can see there's, a, there's more black here than there is on angle three, the smaller the angle is. So the more black you see, the smaller the angle is, and vice versa, the more white you see, the larger the angle is. So we know that one is the smallest angle just based on that and just based on flicking my eyes back and forth. So right off the bat, we know that the answer cannot be A and it cannot be D. Just right off the bat. Now we need to focus on the largest angle. So once we figure out what the largest angle is, we've got our answer. So let's just kind of pick a different color here again. We're going to be focusing on 
this portion of the angle. All right. Now remember, we're looking for what has more black, what has less black. I'm just going to kind of quickly scan our eyes here. And it, when doing so, we can see that 4, angle 4, is the largest angle. Just because it has less black and more white, use that strategy to really help guide when you're thinking about which angle is larger and smaller. Sometimes it's very hard to tell, but other times you can kind of tell. Uh, you can kind of tell by that method. And so our first answer is going to be C. So let's move on to the second question. We're going to use the same exact, same exact strategy. That's the nice thing about these practice questions and these sections. Once you know the strategy to tackle these questions, you can immediately apply it to every single question that you come across. So again, we're starting off with the angles here. And again, we have a nice easy one where either 4 or 2 is the smallest angle and 1 and 3 is the largest angle. So let's jump right in here. Let's start with the smallest angle. So either 2 or 4. So let's circle our region here. And eventually, this is a great way to start to actually circle the angles, but again, remember you're taking this on a computer. You won't actually be able to do this. You'll have to be able to do this in your head and just kind of focus on these regions. But this is a really good way to start off practicing this section. Now, let's decide if 2 or 4 is the smallest. And I'm seeing more black on angle 2. So angle 2 is going to be our smallest angle here. Okay, now, again, now we can eliminate A and D, and now we're left with B and C. So now we just need to decide what is this largest angle. So coming back over here, we can, again, focus on our region, 1 and 3. And we can see, let's see, which angle is larger? I'm seeing less black on angle 1, so we know angle 1 is our largest angle. And let's do a, let's really zoom in here so you guys can see. You guys see how there's a little bit less black right in here on angle 1, just kind of in this region, and there is here. It's the black is slightly thicker on angle 3, which means that it's smaller. So there you have it. So now we know that, again, our answer is C for this question. Let's move on to this last one here. Again, starting right off with the answers. Now we can see there's three choices for the largest angle, but again, only two choices for the smallest angle. So we're going to have a little bit more work to do this time around. But let's focus on nailing down this smallest angle, which is either 1 or 3. So we have 1 or 3. Now, which has, which is the smallest angle? And it's most likely going to be angle 3, which is the smaller one. But we just need to confirm. And flicking my eyes across, I do see that 3 is the smallest angle. So we can go ahead. Eliminate B. B is gone. Now we're left with A, C, and D, which doesn't help in the largest angle perspective very much. But we will figure this out. So we're between 1, 2, and 4 as being our largest angle. Now, hopefully you can see just by scanning your eyes across these that 2 is a massive angle. It's bigger than all of them, so we can easily conclude that our an the correct answer is going to be A here. And just like that, we are able to make our way through three practice problems using a very simple strategy of going to the answers first, determining what angles we in particular we need to look at, Move on to looking at the angles very quickly, 
with by flicking our eyes and by looking at the amount of black at the tips of the angles to help us decide which angle is larger and smaller, and then eliminating and then eliminating answers based on those decisions. If you found these videos helpful, please go ahead and leave a comment or send me an email. My email should be in the descriptions in the description below. If you came from my podcast, Extracting Wisdom, and you listened to the podcast on this and came over and watched the video, thank you so much for listening and for coming and watching the video. If you just happened across this video, head on over to Spotify, iTunes, wherever you like to listen to your podcasts and search for Extracting Wisdom. Uh, I have a podcast designed to help pre-dental students achieve dental school admission, as well as documenting my journey throughout dental school. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.